In this video, I'm kind of going to show my breakdown of how I do uh, metallic paints, uh, car paints to be exact. This is my workflow. Everyone's different, and this is not the right or wrong way to do it. This is just what works for me. So what I'm going to try to recreate is this very metallic uh, orange car paint. And based on the lighting situations, I photographed it. It, it has a different attribute. So for example, when we look at it in clear coat without any uh, direct sunlight, just in the shade, it's it just reads as an orange, orange. But when we have a sun hitting it, you get that beautiful metallic flake. So that's what we're going to try to recreate. And what I want to show is this thing I found on Google kind of explains my workflow. So the primer and sealer and carp body, we don't have. I don't do that. What I focus on is my base coat my uh, flake layer which is this pearl smoke candy layer and then the clear coat so i just have these three layers in my uh, material when i'm creating these car paints so what i'm going to do is turn on rt so we can start getting a preview of what we have so this is my card it kind of matches the uh, the car paint sheet that i have and I shot an HDRI in the same time of day when I was shooting the uh, the reference example, so that way I could kind of match apples to apples when setting up these car paints. So what I'm going to do is create a V-Ray blend material. That's what I work with. So V-Ray blend material, discard old. The first one is going to be our base layer. And now what I'd like to do with my base layer for metallic paints is the, uh, the diffuse is the dark tone and the reflection is the bright tone. And what I mean by that is if we look at this image right here, so this example is my dark tone, and then my bright tone would be kind of uh, this layer right here. But if we kind of look at the, uh, the other shot right here, it's going to be this beautiful rich color. So that's what we're gonna go for. So first things first, I'm gonna go very dark orange red with my base coat, something like this. And now my clear coat, my reflection color is gonna be a nice saturated bright color. Something like this, there we go. And now what I'm gonna do is diffuse it. Something like this, and maybe crank up the reflection properties. So there we go. We're starting to kind of match this, this feel. So maybe we're a little too, too bright. So maybe 2.4 and 0.65. So something like that, that to me feels good. That's my base metallic layer. So we're going to name this base. So the next layer is the flake layer. So I'm going to do another very material. And what I like to do for my flakes is copy the same color as my uh, diffuse color, but brighten it just a little bit. So something like this and just brighten it a little bit, give it a little more green, something like that. And then <clears throat> for the uh, the reflection properties, we are going to do a um, RGB multiply. And I'll show you why we're doing that. So we're going to do an RGB multiply like so. And the way I'm going to do this is for color two, this is going to be this map that I created. I'm just going to copy it into here. And what this is, and make sure it's working properly. And what I'll do too is make this pure white so you can see what's happening. There we go. That's reading better. And what this map is, right now I have it as a Vuri triplanar, so that way it just scatters the map on its own. But all it is is a noise map with a bunch of different colors. So I have. I have some pinks, I have some oranges, I have some greens. So I looked at the metallic flake map carefully and I kind of try to recreate that. And that's what you can kind of see in here. And so the other thing that I'm going to do is on the color, this is where I kind of give it the, uh, the more saturated orange tone. So something like that. So as you can see, now we're getting that rich orange look. All right. And now last but not least, we have to blend this in with our base layer. So this is where I just use this other flake map I made. And this is just literally a noise map, small. And the way, as you can see, it changes size because that's what car paint flakes are. They're randomly organic flakes. 
And so what I'm going to do is use this map as my mask. I'm going to turn this to pure black. So there we go. So now I have the flakes, as you can see, showing up. But of course, now they're dead. So what I have to do is make this a very, very metallic layer. So I'm going to bump this up to like F14. As you can see now, we're starting to get that flake. But the other thing I want to do is I want to diffuse my flakes a little bit. So I'm going to do something like 0.7. So as you can see, now we're getting this gorgeous shimmer of light. And now, last but not least, is our clear coat layer. And this is a very simple thing. I just make the diffuse pure black, turn up the reflection, uncheck this, make it about, uh, I don't know, F6, F4, something like that. And then what I'm going to do here is change this blend type map. I'm going to add a fall off. I'm going to change this to Fresnel. And there we go. And that is pretty much how I create my metallic car paint. So now I'm going to look at my other camera view. So this is where I have it referencing this other shot. And this is kind of where I get to see how it looks like based on this. And what I have to do now is switch my HDRI out. So I'm going to make it as an instance. There we go. I'm just going to turn this one on. And now I could kind of compare apples to apples. So now this is where I would look at this image. And I'll go in and adjust my colors a little more on the base layer. And this is where I would give it a little bit more red. Like that. Maybe a little bit more blue. To try to match these tones closer to this. There we go. And that is how I quickly dial in my car paint. And then the last thing what I will want to do is when looking at this map right here is adjust my clear coat value. So to do that, what I want to do is add another adjustment thing and just bring that up. Kind of like that. And there we go. Now I'm starting to get this very reflective surface, starting to get some of that reflection property into it. So something like this. There we go. Maybe bump it up just a little bit more. And now I'll just switch the other HDRI on with the sunlight and we get to see it in action. There we go. We have beautiful reflection. We have our metallic flakes. We have our rich diffuse. And there we go. That's my car paint. And now if I do a teapot as a test, There we go. Now, as you can see, we have a lot of depth in the car paint. And now it's just really up to you and how you want to adjust it. You could brighten this, you could darken this. This controls the dark, rich areas of the car paint. So when we brighten it, that happens. When we darken it, that happens. There we go. Very quick, very simple. And uh, in my opinion, the results are good and they work for me. There we go.